Guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at the Siri remote for the Apple TV and find out why it's garbage. Coming up next on the Ultimate Tech Hub. So guys, first off, I want to start by saying this video is not about bashing Apple or their products in any way. However, at Ultimate Tech Hub, we do not use any Apple products, except for the Apple TV. And we love the Apple TV. The picture quality is amazing. It's crisp and vibrant. But using the Siri remote with the Apple TV is frustrating. <laughs> and here are the reasons why. First of all, the size. This remote is too small in every way possible. If you have medium to large hands, this remote feels tiny, like Zoolander <laughs> tiny. And the worst part about this size is the thickness of the remote, or lack of thickness, which makes it difficult to keep the remote in your hand. And because the remote is so small, it doesn't feel comfortable in your hands. And the second issue with this remote is the color. It's kind of that black matte color. And because we have dark furniture, like our couches and coffee table, this remote seems to blend into the furniture which makes it hard to find. And couple that with the size of the remote, finding this remote can be a challenge. And this brings me to the third issue. This remote is slick. And I'm not talking about the way it looks. I'm talking about the way it feels. The back of the remote is made of aluminum. And that material makes the remote slippery. It's hard to keep in your hands. And putting the remote down on an uneven surface will almost guarantee this remote will slide away and couple that with the size and the color of this remote, then losing this remote can be a common occurrence. And for us, it has. Now let's talk about the features of the remote or the lack of features. So it's obvious that Apple made this remote to be very simple, very few buttons and small. And herein lies the issue, the lack of buttons. First off, there's no mute button. Sometimes you need to mute the sound and with this remote, you can't do that you'll have to use the volume down. And this brings me to problem number two. The touchpad can be difficult to use. For example, scrolling left or right, I found the touchpad to be oversensitive, which makes fast forwarding or reversing difficult. And I found sometimes when you scroll all the way back, you can lose your place, or even worse, you'll get kicked out of the video you're reviewing. And this happens a lot on YouTube videos. And this can be very frustrating to say the least. So once again, Apple seems to worry about the aesthetics over functionality. The remote is so minimal, it doesn't work well at all. And the only thing I like about this remote is the remote batteries are rechargeable with any iPhone charger. So that being said, the only solution is to download the app from iTunes or Play Store that allows you to use your phone as a remote for the Apple TV. And there are many different apps to control your Apple TV. Some are good and some are not so good. Well guys, we're all done here, and I want to thank you for watching, and be sure to visit the Ultimate Tech Hub Patreon page. We have membership pricing starting at $2 a month. Becoming a Patreon member has many different benefits, but the number one benefit is it keeps our channel going. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe, it's free. Thanks again for watching.